assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's brand new vlog i hope that you all are happy and healthy wherever you are before we start today's vlog please may request to all you guys out there that please subscribe to my channel and if you like my videos then please give me a thumbs up in today's vlog i'm going to share with you my husband's recipe of homemade naan and the taste and the quality is better than a restaurant so in today in my kitchen my husband's going to actually help me share his recipe with you guys of how to make homemade naan and the outcome and the taste is going to be better than the restaurant and I guarantee that. So let's go downstairs in my kitchen and let's start cooking. So these are the ingredients that we need for our naan. So now my husband's going to actually tell you the quantity of each ingredient. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So Starting off with the flour, how much quantity do we need of flour? We need 4 cup of flour. 1 tablespoon yeast, 1 teaspoon sugar, 1 teaspoon salt, half a cup of oil and 1 egg white we need and also we need 1 cup of milk and a half cup of warm water. So the milk has to be warm? Yes, milk has to be warm to active the yeast. And we need egg yolk to actually brush to the naan? Brush the naan, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, so shall we start baking the naan now? Yes, let's go. First we need milk in the bowl. Okay. Then we put the salt, sugar, and the yeast. And now you need to mix it. How much water? It's half cup. Half cup water. So mix well. Then we add the oil. So down here we're adding three tablespoons of olive oil. You can use any oil or butter if you want to. And one leg white. Mix well. So now that we've actually mixed the mixture, so now we need to add the mis mixture into the flour. So you form a well in the middle and slowly by slowly first add in half the mixture, mix it well. So once we mixed it with a spoon, we have to go in with our hands. This dough has to be a bit sticky dough. And now we're going to knead it for five minutes and after five minutes we need to let it rest for at least one hour so now after five minutes the dough is kneaded and now we're going to actually transfer it into a clean bowl and now i'm actually going to clean film this and this needs to rest for one hour minimum so now after one hour you can see that our dough has actually risen double the size so now we've actually put some flour on our work surface. So in the meantime, what I will do is I will actually oil the baking tray. So what we're going to do is that we've decided that we're going to make kulcha naans. What are kulcha naans? They are small naans. These are the molds for the kulcha naans. So 
So now I've actually oiled my baking trays. By oiling it, the bottom of our gulcha nans will also be golden. And down here I'll show you that when you actually put the gulcha naan in the mold, with your finger, what you need to do is just press it all the way up like this. That's with your finger. And by doing this, you'll be actually making the sides puff up. And when they go in the oven, because the yeast is actually included in here, it will actually puff up. So now while I actually put some egg wash on it, my husband will prepare another naan. So you don't need to use a rolling pin because we're making mini ones. But if you want to make bigger ones, you can actually. So now at this stage, I'm going to actually add them in the oven. Um, it's going to take about 10 minutes until they'll be ready. So these naans have just come out from the oven. Now we're going to put two more in and get them out and then show you the final look. So guys, this is the final look of our homemade naan. I hope that you liked today's video. If you didn't, then please give us a thumbs up. Um, till the next recipe from both of us. Take care. Bye.